What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, world? It's your boy, Amp Dog, with another episode of Politic and Podcast. Make sure you tell a friend and tell a friend. Big Amp Dog said, what's the deal? And today, let me get ready. Today, we're going to talk about uh, the United States President, Donald Trump, and his desperate, desperate attempts. Uh, and, uh, uh, he just trying to steal the election. What he complaining about? He trying to do. He trying to do that shit, but he uh, he ain't getting the back. He ain't getting the backup that he thought. Um, he did a phone call with the uh, Georgia uh, officials, I guess you could say. He had a he had a few of them in there and. Bruh, I get you trying to stay out of jail, but what you doing is extra. Like, I almost want to say, like, that shit borderline illegal for you to tell motherfuckers that's telling you, no, we did everything we could do, and we don't see the evidence that you trying to get to support you. We don't have no evidence of nothing that you're talking about. And then he tell them, Hey, uh, I would just say that you guys not doing a good job. Like, you guys, that's a crime. So now you threatening these uh, public officials. Uh, well, intimidating. I won't say threaten. It was more an intimidation thing. Like, you know you could go to jail for this. So it's like one of those things where you just see um, a person who who knows it's over, but they just like, fuck it. I'm going to break the big screen on my way out or I'm going to flatten your tires or I'm like, that's what he doing. He acting like a, a bitter bitch. Excuse my language, but that's how he acting. He acting like he real emotional. The nigga tell these motherfuckers, hey, all I need is 11,780 votes. That's one more than what they said. All I need is that. You think you can make it happen? That, to me, is some illegal shit. You shouldn't be able to, <laughs> to do that. And especially not a person of, of power, the highest power uh, within America. So, um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I do feel like he, all right, let me be careful. I respect Trump for what he doing because he is a motherfucker that's like, nigga, my life on the line. You think I'm going to just let you take this from me? He one of them niggas. He one of them niggas that, that's going to hold on for dear life, but in the process going to f- destroy or try to fuck up as much as he can. He probably cost the Republicans the Georgia Senate race. Um, I, I heard uh, that it's getting close as far as being called. Um, one Democrat already pretty much projected winner, and the other one is, is too close to call, but, bruh, like, Trump, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at that picture right there. I'm looking at that. Tan and all. Take it easy. If you ain't gonna take it easy on some, take it easy on the motherfucking tan. I feel you. Fight for your freedom. You know, you pardon all your niggas, all that, but you probably gonna be facing some time. And that's the only thing that I could think of, which is the desperation. The voter fraud shit. Look, bruh, you did too much shit to make people get tired of you, not want you around. Even the motherfuckers that, uh, I guess you gave hope. So, with that, I could just say, the tides have changed, bruh. They done with you. 
And you see it on the car, like, you went from trying to finesse these niggas. Oh, yeah, you guys, I know you guys are smart people. You do this and do that. And as soon as they say, well, no, Mr. Trump, we don't. Ah, uh, you guys don't know what you're talking about. You guys, that's the problem. You guys need better leadership and this and that. Like, come on, bruh. Uh, just bow out gratefully. Not gratefully, gracefully. Bow out and just, just, just take the inhale and uh, uh, come back in 2024, I guess. Like, but yeah, I don't know how your probation gonna be looking, allegedly. But yeah, Trump, Trump on some bullshit. Trump, he, he basically stating the turnout of, of crowds during uh, rallies is what pretty much projects him as a winner because he get way more turnout and it's like nigga it's a pandemic and the only people that don't give a fuck about wearing masks or a pandemic is the people that follow you like I've seen it I've seen nothing but Trump supporters and then the moment this nigga caught COVID they didn't know what to think they got the same looks on their face as they got right now when he lost the election but I don't know. Hey, uh, shout out to all the new followers, subscribers, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, make sure y'all hit that like, share, subscribe, um, and tell a friend. Big Amp Dog said, what up, what up, and what's the deal? Shout out to all my fans.